You know, I would always refer it to as India being uh, uh, a cultural twin of uh, Sri Lanka. So they're both twins, twins of the same mother, and the mother is culture. We come from the same culture. So this is something that I think aptly fits into the relationship between the two countries. When uh, King Vijaya was married uh, the, to one of the princesses in India, he came around not just with the queen, but with a thousand families of that queen as well. Because So with that came in a lot of culture, a lot of knowledge sharing, I would say. So knowledge sharing, like I was mentioning before as well, if not for Mahavamsa, there would have been a lot of facts that were not actually known to Indians. So Mahavamsa was actually a Sri Lankan document that enlightened uh, the, the historical events in India as well. Into the modern day, of course, cricket bonds us very well. So for Indians, I would say like traveling from a hill station to, to a beach destination, it takes hours. It takes probably in certain instances days to even travel if you're doing it by road. But the same thing in, in Sri Lanka, it would actually take a few hours. You know, you're there at the beach and then you can be in the hill station in, in a couple of hours. So there were a few friends who actually came over. We did breakfast at, at the wildlife resort, went to a hill station for lunch and then beach for dinner. You know, so something like that cannot be done in India. So it's, it's, I always tend to ask them this question. What do you think of Sri Lanka now that you've come? Is it? Before we came, we thought probably it could have certain extensions of India and this thing. And they're shocked to actually come and see it's so different, you're yet so similar with a lot of things. One of the things they of course say is, you know, Sri Lanka is so clean, you know, the air is so good, it's so beautiful, you know, you could actually breathe fresh air. And, and uh, these are the things that they realize. Initially, of course, a uh, lot of people are coming in here for the first time and uh, they're all surprised. They all love Sri Lanka. And getting back to the point, people who are actually living here, Indians who are living here, they're all in love with the country like me. You know, we are here, we are here. And then uh, we all love the country and we all uh, want to stay here. Uh, of course, visit India, do all those things, then come back to Sri Lanka. So there's, there's lots happening in terms of the relationship. It bonds us together, India and Sri Lanka, it just automatically bonds us together. And I know people, I know Sri Lankans who have actually gone to India and say, oh, I'd love to stay in India, I'd love to live in Mumbai, I'd like to just be there, you know. So I think it's mutual, both, both of us share love for each other.